Hey everybody, I'm Scott from Hexile Gaming, and I've got the final here in this European weekend tournament in Mechabellum. This match is between Fuzzy and Indozoa. We've got Supply Specialist, Quick Supply Specialist. Those seem pretty popular. Um, marksman, man, that's a bummer to get Marksman spec with a Marksman already in the units. I know it's pretty good. Goes Giant. Aerial Specialist versus Giant. So we've got Arc Lights and Storm Collars on the right. Storm Collars very, very popular. Left side. Sledges. Arc Lights. Unlocked Crawlers. Crawlers can help you versus Storm Crawlers. They move fast enough that they can run through the missiles without taking damage. Unfortunately, direct counter to Crawlers are Arc Lights. So how are you going to take those out sooner? Sledges. They're heavy tanks. They can tank damage. They're not great. They're not terrible, but they're not great at doling out the damage. The arc lights and the sledges, maybe, maybe that takes out this front line unless the crawlers get through. The crawlers are pretty fast, though. Yeah, I think you're going to need to increase the range of your arc lights if you want them to shoot the enemy arc lights before your crawlers are dead. Now the Arc lights are gone. But most of the crawlers that you were hoping to protect are gone too. It's working. It's working. Sledges. They tank. The crawlers distract. Blue takes round one. And one of the great things that sledges can do is slow your opponent down while you barrage them with artillery. So I would not be surprised to see Stormcallers on the left side. They are the most meta unit. They're decent at countering themselves. They're great when paired with sledgehammers. Overlord! Aerial Specialist and Mass Produced. So aerial units no longer consume uh, supplies when unlocked. So this was free to unlock and cheaper to put down. Both players! Both players taking the uh, mass-produced overlord. But only one of them gets to bring it out. Oh boy. So marksmen on the right side can shoot air units. That is it. Unfortunately, the marksmen are getting tired. Oh, it was a backline overlord. I didn't zoom out enough. The surprise is real. And unfortunately, no matter what those sledges do, they are not going to be able to fight an overlord. They do not have anti-air capabilities. There it is. Okay. Backline Overlord. Do we see Zoa jump drive and move it? Or do you wait? Doesn't have jump drive. Uses field recovery. So gets all the money back from that. Oh, uh, that's right. Decreases the recruitment cost, but I think you still get the full... You get 400 supply back, even though you only spent 300, so... Mass produce is, uh... 
little broken right now when, when used with field recovery. Orbital bombardment. Drop a bunch of RNG explosions on this stuff. Maybe we'll see shields to try and protect it. Yeah, so you see, uh, field recovered the Overlord, got more money than it was worth, then built a new one somewhere else. Somewhere else so pretty good. Goes for the attack specialization. Straight up increase the attack for your entire army. We've got Crawler summoning here. Here they come. That's going to distract the Marksman and the Overlord. That could help this engagement. Some hits, it looks like, from that orbital, maybe? Maybe just one. An arc light, maybe? Yeah, this is the only AA that blue has, so once it goes down, it's an auto win for red. Oh, uh, there's a phoenix, sorry, phoenix. There's one phoenix left. Maybe it gets a stone. All right, red wins round three. Ion Blast is pretty great. Incendiary Bomb's cheap, though. We have Photon Emission on this? Yeah. So definitely, left side needs help against the Overlord on the right. Increased range on the Marksman. Fantastic upgrade. Fantastic tech. Upgrades in tech are different. Um, we see the incendiary here from red and photon from blue. So all of this stuff for the first 16 seconds of the match will take 50% decreased incoming damage. Trying to raise my camera some more. There we go. I don't know, guys. I don't know why that works. Why it doesn't always work. Vulcan. It helps against some of this chaff. It'll give you a, a beefy thing to get caught on. There's the photon. Decreasing that incoming damage. 16 seconds is longer than you think. Overlord takes that out. Still taking a battering from the Marksman. Now with an increased range. Sledges, though. Can they tank? Yes, but not indefinitely. Another win for red. Left side was able to take out the opposing overlord, or did it just get... Actually, I think it just got recycled. Never mind. Amp core on the left. There's the field recovery. There's increased range on the sledges. Okay. Mass recruit on the right. Looks like fangs were unlocked. More sledgehammers on the left. Just checking the uh, experience values. Was that? Oh, this is elite, no?
Yes, elite recruitment. I was wondering why everything was blue. So it's not elite specialist, but did use elite recruitment. Goes for range on the Vulcan. Okay. Shoot sooner. Oh, he's got that portable shield as well. That's fun. Look at these sneaky crawlers. Stormcrawler's getting some volleys on the sledgehammers, but the beef. The beef is holding. Trying to do damage to the Vulcan. I feel a little bit. Tower goes down. It's going to stun the Vulcan. And look at that. Two models from the Sledgehammer survive. Oh, three? There's one here, two as well. Alright, a win for blue that round. Not a big one, but a win. Round six. Are we early enough? Eh, round six is a little late for this, right? Nope. Mass-produced wasp on the left side. AA for the right. Ooh. Fangs. Light AA. And then marksman. So wasps could do all right for a round. Crawlers. Goes mass recruit. Just want some more. More chaff. It's okay if you can eliminate the Vulcans early. Easier said than done. Yeah, see, I, I don't know that that stuff helped. I think it's just feeding experience to the Vulcan. Maybe it's stopping the Vulcan from shooting the sledgehammers longer? I don't know. Wow. Well done, sledgehammers, taking out that Vulcan both sides. We got mass produced wasps. Left side, okay. Hasn't unlocked them yet, but maybe they're waiting. You want that surprise when you get down to like one third health? Bust out three units of shielded level two wasps. Overlords on the right side, and it looks like. Blue is dropping some crawlers as well. Could have a good effect. There's not much here to deal with them. I think this overlord might turn. Ooh. Level 4 sledgehammers with amp core. A lot of HP. A lot of health. A lot of attack. Gives the speed buff from the command center. Mass recruit on the left side. Puts a single shield down, just in case. Oh, wow, okay. More shields. Are you in danger? Not yet. The missile or device. Right, 
Let's see how these overlords do. Are those Mustangs? Those are... Those are Mustangs. That'll help. Let's see if the top ones can stay alive. They get the tower. And they're about to come up on the flank of this middle overlord. That'll do. Alright. Blue wins that one. They were able to manage the overlords. Nuke for blue. Photon coating for red. Yeah, and you're kind of stuck in this cycle with rapid resupply. You get 200 instantly, but the next round, you're 300 down. So the next round, you take rapid resupply again to get you back up a little bit. You're spiraling. More Mustangs. Orbital. Still got some shields up, so that'll help. Goes for the range and mobility upgrades. Why speed? Why do you need the speed upgrade? Not much here to oppose the nuke, although maybe they'll move out. Uh, you know, if you're putting the nuke there, maybe it would be a good idea to have something spawn back there to pull aggro. Here. Eh. Still gonna split them up. And here it goes! Skadoosh. Takes out the Overlord. Is there still a Vulcan over there? I don't think so. There was a bombardment on the bottom. But it looks like plenty of sledgehammers survive. And there may be just enough. Oh, yeah. There's enough Mustangs to take out that Overlord. Okay! Do or die for red! What's the counter? Orbital Javelin for blue. You got lots to choose from. Rocket Fist Fortresses. Love it. Mass Recruitment getting even more. Okay. All right. Ooh, armor-piercing sledgehammers. That can help. It just straight up increases your... Increase attack by 150, but increases the attack interval. So they attack less often, but their attack is 150% increased. Wow. Overlord as well. Oh no, <laughs> drops it right on the javelin! They don't know that. Oh, okay. That's a nice little move. Do you have enough to get Photon? No, not 200. Ooh. Gets more Crawlers. And a Sentry. That Sentry is going to do some slow... Javelin only takes half of that Fortress. Double um, overlords on the left. Those are new. And that one's gone. 
New armor piercing sledges. They do start to take out stuff, but they can't shoot air units. All right, we got a game, folks. Zoa is hanging on. Going into round 10, they both take the range specialist. I'm just going to increase range on everything. And Photon Coating for the Overlord uses Field Recovery. So it, it's only 100, no, 300 to put the Overlord down. Then you Field Recover it, which gives you 400 because that's the base price of an Overlord. So then you put the Overlord back down and you've made some money. Anti-air barrage. That will help you against the Overlord. I think that's it. Oh, and uh, Blue Field recovered one of their Overlords, so. GG. No storm collars on the left. That's you don't see that very often. Increases range on the right side. All right, let's see if those fortresses can win this. That's the uh, photon coating from the overlords, and actually, if you put them close enough together, they can give each other the photon is nice. Sledges and Mustangs together at last. They're looking pretty good at the bottom. Oh boy, they get the tower. That's going to help top. And the Sledges, they will not be stopped. And that's going to do it. Fuzzy is your winner. GG. What a match. Thank you to both players. Congratulations, Fuzzy. And thank you for watching. That will do it for this match. And this tournament. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming. Signing off.